You don't have to spend a lot of money in order to get organized. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I helped my friend declutter and completely reorganize her laundry room on a zero dollar budget. I'm Lindsay with Organize to Save, and if we're just meeting on this channel, I'm here to help you get organized and be more productive with budget-friendly hacks so that way you can declutter and simplify. The only thing that could be more budget-friendly than shopping at the Dollar Tree is to spend no money at all. My friend was wanting to declutter and reorganize her laundry room, but didn't want to spend a bunch of money. We challenged herself and took on the space with a zero dollar budget. Now before we could declutter and reorganize the space, we first needed to clear everything out. We didn't do any structural changes to the laundry room because the shelving system that she already had was functioning. We just needed to declutter and reorganize. We laid everything out in one room and started going through it category by category. It's gonna be helpful for you as you're decluttering to make sure that you find everything from that category and go through it all together. So for example, we went through all of her cleaning supplies and made sure that as we were reorganizing them, all those things were grouped together so it was gonna be super easy for her to find what she needed. When we were decluttering, we simply made a donation pile in one spot so that way when we were all done, she had one pile of things to donate. A quick cleaning hack for you. If you are trying to get like sticky stickers off of things, try using lemon essential oil you put a couple drops on there and then we just use her norex rag and it came right off now all of her laundry soap is all contained into one clean jar instead of all of her bags that she had you're decluttering think about a couple different things have i used this within the last year do i see myself using it in the next couple of months do i have duplicates of this item that i don't need is it broken am i only holding on to this for sentimental means Make sure that everything that you're putting back, you are keeping for a reason because you don't want to be storing things that you're not going to be using. Before we started putting things back in the space, we needed to clean it up. And we had an amazing little helper. We made sure to clean all the walls and all the floors so that all the dust was out of the room and we could start with a clean slate. As we were putting things away, we made sure to group things by category. We started with things that she uses every single day or on the weekly. We needed to make sure all of her cleaning and laundry supplies were very easy to access, so I put those right in the center of the shelves. For all of her grocery bags, we actually just stored them inside one bag, so that way she could easily grab it and go. If you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my other budget-friendly hacks coming your way. We also had all of her outdoor play and grilling stuff to the left because the garage door is right there, so that way as they're heading out to the garage, they can easily access what they need. In order to keep some of these things together, have them easy to access on the shelves, we actually ended up using a couple cardboard boxes. Boxes. This was free and all we did to upscale them a little bit was we pulled from her stash of paper and simply taped on some white paper surrounding the box. There's a couple different ways that you could revamp boxes. You could use contact paper, fabric, color them or paint them out, but we wanted to do this with spending no money so we just pulled from paper that she had on hand. Having the outside of the boxes white helps to kind of declutter it and make it more cohesive on the shelf. And then we were able to pull from my stash of Dollar Tree labels, which obviously if we had to buy, this would be $1. But I love using these Dollar Tree labels everywhere. I've used them in so many different videos. It's great to label things so that way if other people in your house are trying to find something, they'll know exactly where to go. My friend really wanted to keep her cookbooks in here because the laundry room is actually right by the kitchen as well. It made sense to have the cookbooks easily accessible on the shelves. But the problem with her shelves is that they are the wire slatted shelves. If we were to stack the cookbooks up on the shelves, they would easily fall through the slats or it just wouldn't be very secured. So what we actually did was we cut out the end of a box, put that up on the shelf, stack her books side by side and they wouldn't fall over. Just by using a couple cardboard boxes, it really helped us group things together, have a cohesive look, and then the rest of the organizing bins she already had on hand so we did not have to spend any money. Don't forget about using your wall space. You can use command hooks to hang up cleaning rags or even the back of your door to hang up your purse. Now everything is extremely accessible. It's all labeled so everyone knows where everything is and the best part is that we did not spend a dime. If you're looking for more ideas on how to transform a laundry room, make sure to check out the video on your screen right now to see how I recently revamped my entire laundry room on a budget. 
We'll see you over there.